Welcome back. Every day, football coaches throw out cliches. Iron sharpens iron. To be the best, you got to beat the best. But those cliches, they ring true for the Liberty Isle Leopards this season. And we tell you why those could be true statements in tonight's 23 and 23. To say Liberty Isle has a tough schedule in 2018 is quite the understatement. In fact, the Leopards played just one team with a losing record last year, and those opponents averaged nearly 10 wins last season. This includes games against both of last year's 4A state champions. We've got one of the tougher schedules in the state, I think, uh, 4A-wise. The Leopards feel like they're up for the challenge with nine starters back from a team who won eight games in 2017, including two in the playoffs. We've got uh, quite a few of our uh, skilled people back. Uh, Isaiah Cross will move from receiver to quarterback. Uh, uh, very good athlete, uh, dual threat type kid. Uh, uh, looking for a lot of big things from him. Uh, very exciting kid. But one of the question marks comes from the guys who will block for Cross. Coach Wells said they're going to be a little inexperienced in the trenches. We're probably not as big as we've been in the past in some places, uh, you know, O-line, D-line wise, but uh, uh, you know, we feel good about our kids. Uh, really good senior class. Uh, worked hard all summer, and uh, we're looking forward to the challenge of the season. Now, those young guys in the trenches will have to grow up in a hurry with that brutal non district schedule that includes state powers Carthage, Argyle, and Waco, La Vega, as well as Texas and Arkansas High. With this 23 and 23. I'm Tim Owens. The Leopards open the season on the road as they cross the state line to take on the Arkansas High Razorbacks kickoff set for 7 o'clock on Friday, August 31st. 23 teams in 23 days rolls on tomorrow as we go inside the huddle with the defending 2A state champs up in Arkansas, the Foreman Gators. And then on Saturday, we take an in-depth look at the Bossier Bearcats.